Hello everybody there in Facebook land. This is Sean. I don't know if anybody is familiar with where I might be right now. I'm standing at our window here at Pop Century here at Walt Disney World Resort. We just got to our hotel. It's very pleasant out here. It's uh, almost 4.30 in the afternoon. For uh, Florida end of summer, it's actually not too shabby outside. It's sunny and it doesn't look like it's gonna rain. So I'll just do a quick tour here of our room. So Pop Century is one of the um, like the economy resorts but uh, they remodeled this we've stayed here a couple times in the past they've completely remodeled these rooms they're not very big but first thing that stood out here was this area right here and we're like is that a closet what is that this is actually there is another bed right here so there's like little instructions here you're supposed to clear off the table and get the chairs out of the way and you just pull down and the bed comes out of the wall. Pretty cool. So yeah, they completely redecorated. We're staying in the 60s building. Uh, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's five areas, each with a different decade. So we're staying in the 60s in our... Uh, building is right next to a big giant play-doh so maybe I'll take some pictures when I go back out there but uh, the room is really simple but it is it is good for uh, for a couple's stay especially if you're on the cheap I think uh, with the the during this time of year the rooms actually weren't too bad this was for Disney at least uh, this was like 150 a night So, they uh, got a large TV there. The greatest thing about this room that I've noticed, other than that cool pull-away bed, is that there are outlets, like, everywhere to charge whatever you need. So, over here on the dresser, you've got, like, four outlets. There's one down here where we're charging our battery. Nice little cubby over here by the door a little nightstand there's a bunch of there's four more there and then another one in the corner there so this is um, it's very family friendly uh, they did a good job remodeling I don't remember if they had carpets in here before I don't think so but you've got the laminate flooring so Nothing fancy, but again, for a couple's trip, uh, we're here for Marissa's birthday for three nights. So this, I think, will do nicely. And then, of course, this is kind of nice to have the fridge right there. Um, don't see a microwave, but don't think it's going to be necessary. We actually are going to the Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween party later tonight. And... Uh, We'll probably have a couple snacks while we're there. And then tomorrow we're going to Disney's Hollywood Studios, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I don't know if I can convince Marissa to go early with me, but the park actually opens at 6 a.m. And uh, they just opened about, I want to say about roughly two weeks ago now. No, less than that. Ten days ago? So yeah, about 10 days ago, I think, is when they opened up the Galax uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge down here in Florida. Um, and I'm really excited because when we were on the bus ride here to the resort, uh, the wait time for the Millennium Falcon ride was only 35 minutes, which is astounding to me. But I've heard online that uh, the parks aren't real busy right now. And of course, we actually had to fly around a hurricane.
people here at the parks. Plus, it's kind of an in-between season, even though they're celebrating Halloween uh, really early. It's really in-between seasons. So, with that being said, I am off. I'm going to go get ready and get my uh, costume for tonight ready. And maybe I'll post that here in an hour or so. So until then, it's Sean signing off.